Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Sir's classes and today we are looking at the IIT JAM Economics Paper 2023, question number 45. So we consider the Keynesian cross model where we are given the consumption function, the tax function, the income identity and if B equals to 0 0.7 and T equals to 0 0.2 then we need to find the Keynesian multiplier. So if you all recall, Keynesian multiplier is nothing but dy by dg. So this is exactly what we are supposed to calculate. So let's start with the identity. y is equals to c plus i0 plus g0. Bring down the consumption function. It is c0 plus b into y minus t plus i0 plus g0. The tax function has been given to be minus t times y. So this will be c0 <coughs> plus b into y minus ty minus b times t0 plus i0 plus g0. Take all the y terms to the left. So you'll be left with 1 minus b into 1 minus t times y is equals to c0 minus b t0 plus i0 plus g0. So for the government expenditure multiplier, we need to find out the change in y for change in g. So if we differentiate both sides throughout, 1 minus b into 1 minus t dy is equals to c0 will not change, t0 will not change, i0 will not change, only d will change. So that becomes dg. So dy by dg is equals to 1 by 1 minus b into 1 minus t. So if you look at the figures that are given to you, b is 0 0.7 and t is 0 0.2. So that makes it 1 by 1 minus 0 0.7 into 1 minus 0 0.2. So that is 1 by 1 into 0 0.7 into 0 0.8. So that is 1 minus 0 0.56. So that is 1 by 0 0.44. So we can write this as 100 by 44, so that is 1125 and in the question we have to round up to two decimal places. So if you calculate this, so this will be roughly 2.27. So that's your answer for this one. Now let us come to question number 46 of the 2023 JAM paper. So let box T denote the greatest integer less than equals to T. The number of points of discontinuity of the function fx is equals to box of x square minus 3x plus 2 for x belonging to 0 to 4. Okay. So let's write down the function once more. fx is equals to box of x square minus 3x plus 2. So this thing, this quadratic inside the box function can be factorized. So x square minus 2x minus x plus 2. So this will basically be giving you box of x minus 1 into x minus 2. All right. Now, the range that we are considering is from 0 to 4. From 0 to 4. And this quadratic inside the box function will become 0 at points 1 and 2. And if you recall the method of intervals, for values of x more than 2, 
the quadratic will be positive values of x lying between 1 and 2 it will be negative and for values less than 1 it will be positive okay so basically this part the quadratic is positive this part it is negative and this part it is positive so since we could factorize the quadratic now let's take these two one by one you consider only this box of x minus one let's consider this function had it been only the box of this how would you write box of x minus one it would simply be box x minus one by properties of the box function since one is an integer it will simply be box x minus one okay now if you recall the graph of the box function if i can just draw it once So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. So there is a point of discontinuity at 0. There is a point of discontinuity at 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? Because the box function is a step diagram that goes like this. And in this manner. So all the five integer points that are there in my consideration are discontinuous. So if you consider this function alone, this has five points of discontinuity. And similarly, if you consider the second factor of the polynomial, that is x minus 2, in a similar way, if we had only box of x minus 2, then we could simply write box x minus 2, okay? And for x belonging to 1 to 4, since we again have this box x thing, there will be 5 points of discontinuity. So these two points are present together and since in the original function these two are together so total points of discontinuity would be 5 plus 5 10 total points of discontinuity 5 for the first one 5 for the second one adding up to give you a 10 okay so the number of points of discontinuity for the function is equals to 10. Now let us proceed with question number 47 of the paper. Let capital E be the area of the region bounded by the curves y equals to x square and y equals to 8 root x where x greater than or equals to 0. Then 30E is equals to this. So E is equals to the area between y equals to x square and y equals to 8 root x, x greater equals to 0. So in order to find the area under the curve, we first need to find out the point of intersections. So y equals to x square, y equals to 8 root x. So x square equals to 8 root x. If you square both sides, that would be 64 times x. So x to the power 4 minus 64x is equal to 0. x taken common, 64 is 4 cube. So that would be x into this plus 16 is equal to 0. Okay. So this implies that x equals to 0 or x equals to 4 or 
x square plus 4x plus 16 is equal to 0. If you check the discriminant of this quadratic, that is b square minus 4 into a into c, this is negative, right? So the last part won't give you any real solutions. So the two points of intersection of the curves are x equals to 0 and x equals to 4. That means if we draw this on a diagram, so y versus x, a root x would be a concave function, y equals to a root x and y equals to x square would be a convex function, so y equals to x square. The two points of intersection of the curves are 0 and 4. So that means the area E would be this area, the area between the two curves, right? So E is basically integration from 0 to 4, 8 root x minus x square dx, okay? So that is integration from 0 to 4, 8 root x minus x square dx. So if we straight away do the calculation, so that would be 2 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 minus x cube by 3. This entire thing taken from 0 to 4. So that means 2 by 3, 2 square to the power 3 by 2 minus 4 cube divided by 3. So that is 2 cube that is 8 by 3 minus 64 uh, sorry we need to add the 8 over here So that will make it a 16 over here and the rest can follow. So this can be written as 16 into 8 by 3 and 64 is 16 into 4 by 3. So 16 by 3 will be taken common so 16 into 4 by 3. So this is the area and we are supposed to find out 30 times z. So 30 into 16 by 4 by 3. So that makes it 640. Okay. Now, as you are told in the question to round off to one decimal place, you can write your answer as 640.0. Okay. Since it has been given in the question to round off to one decimal place. All right. Thank you. Now let us move into question number 48 of the paper. A firm has a production function y equals to k to the power 0 0.5, l to the power 0 0.5, faces a wage rate of w equals to 4, rental rate r equals to 4. The firm's marginal cost is equals to how much? So in order to find the marginal cost, we need to first find out the cost function. And if you all recall that for finding out the cost function, we have at optimal MPL by MPK should be equals to W by R, right? Since W equals to 4 and R equals to 4, in this case, MPL by MPK should be equals to 1. So given Y equals to root KL, so what would be MPL by MPK? So that would be del y by del l by del y by del k. So that is half l to the power minus half k to the power half. And this would be l to the power half k to the power minus half. Half and half will get cancelled. So this will be k by l. Now k by l should be equals to 1, which implies that the 
optimal amount of k should be exactly equals to optimal amount of l. Now if you replace this value in the production function, y has been given to be root over k into l. So if you replace k by l, so that will become l squared. So the optimal amount of l star is also y and that is also the optimal amount of k star. Therefore, the cost function would be C of y, which is W L star plus R K star. So both are y. So that would mean it will become W plus R into y. And what is the marginal cost? It is DC by DY, which is W by R, W plus R, sorry. W is 4, R is 4, and that turns out to be 8. All right. So the answer to this in integers is 8. Thank you.